Hello everybody, in this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $96,745.45. In the past year, I am up $24,274.94. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $6,000. $359.99 Today was a slightly green day, although it was mostly flat. I gained $162.79 during the day, and then after hours, I am up $177. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return, $48. I'm selling Disney $110 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return, $9. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return, $744. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expire June 21st. My total return $222. I'm selling LUV $28 covered calls. These expire July 5th. My total return, I am down $510. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $179. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $150. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $182. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $366. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $183.97. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $25,509.83. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.50. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $5,260.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $101.58. My average cost, $60. My total return, $12,474. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $22.26. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $4,755. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $28.64. My average cost, $28.03. My total return, $305. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $177.45. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $3,497. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $60.25. My average cost, 
My total return, $510. I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $39.46. My average cost, $39.31. My total return, $30.10. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $81.15. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, $600.50 This is a margin account. My margin total is $114,597.19 My margin used is $111,577.67 which leaves me with $3,019.52 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $43,092.67. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. The daily interest that I am paying is $19.03. And I am borrowing $2,000 interest free. So today it was mostly red, however, I turned green during the end of the day. So I was down like around a thousand, uh, $1,500, $1,800 throughout most of the day. I was red and then all of a sudden at 1030, whoop, all the way up. So I didn't end up like super green or anything, but hey, some gains is better than no gains. So today I was green a little bit, like 0.17%, barely anything. So it was mostly flat, but better than being down another, you know, 1500 to 1800 bucks. So overall, I'm satisfied. The only thing I want to point out, I don't know if I told you guys this yet, but I changed my Disney covered calls. Uh, it used to be the $115 strike price, but I brought it down to the $110 strike price. I don't think Disney is going to go to $110 on Friday. Um, maybe not even 105 right now it's at 101 yeah I mean it's whatever uh, I don't really care either way at this point it's been disappointing throughout the past couple months well I'm thinking of doing some spreads actually it's been a while since I've done spreads however I've been looking at the options if we're looking at some that expire towards the end of the year in December, let's see here. So if I look at something like, you know, selling the 100, buying the 80, even something like this, like difference between the two is 20 total cost will be 1520. So Here's the profit and loss expected. Break even will be around $94. And for each spread that I do like this, max profit would be around $547. I am, I'm thinking of doing a spread like this, but I'll let you guys know. It's been a while. I mean, it's been a long, long time. Uh, I've been doing just covered calls for I think at least a year haven't I so it's been a long while since I've done spreads but I might want to get back into it um, because honestly Disney has just been disappointing and even if it does go a little bit lower um, I don't know I'll have to think about which ones I want to buy maybe I'll bring the 100 down to the 90 I don't know well I'll figure it out but yeah this is what I'm thinking of doing no you know nothing's final yet I'm just thinking about it for now but I'll have to do the calculations see what works for me and I'll let you guys know if I actually do pull the trigger I think I will wait until at least this Friday though for when my covered calls expire and then I'll look into doing spreads on some of them Disney is one of them and the other one is actually SoFi 
Now, so far, this one right now is at six dollars and fifty cents. My goodness. And I've been looking at the options for this too. There's no December, but there is, I think, November. Yeah. It's no December, just November. But even these ones, I've been looking at some of these. Some of it might make sense, honestly. Difference between the two, three dollars. Oh, never mind. That's not good. Well, I'll look more into it. I'll let you guys know. But uh, I have been looking into doing spreads again. Which are more, you know, dangerous. They're more risky. But I'm really tempted uh, with the way things have been going. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. If anything changes and I do anything new, I'll let you guys know. I'll be making more updates like this in the future. So if you guys want to see more portfolio updates, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.